This episode of Opinionated Facts is brought to you by Kenfolk and Caviar. Kenfolk is a Kentucky-based lifestyle brand offering handmade goods well-rooted in the culture. Check them out at kenfolkandcaviar.com and use promo code SSDTV20 at checkout for 20% off. Them classes. What if people told the truth? What if it wasn't no lies? What if it wasn't no makeup? Would you still step outside? What if it wasn't no chains? What if it wasn't no cars? What if rappers started rapping and just hit you with them bars? What if Big was still here? What if Pac was still alive? What if Aaliyah was scared to fly and left eye couldn't drive? Huh. What if it wasn't no? What if it wasn't no? What? What if it wasn't no? Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Confirm. Yeah. You're listening welcome to back, Confirm. welcome back. Confirm. Hey, what? Man, man, Black Mike. You yeah, know Joey Faze, baby. We know, back in the building. Know, know. Back in the back in the. Eleven, episode eleven. Man. Man. Thank you for rocking with us uh, on YouTube, SSD TV, uh, Apple Podcasts, everywhere. Oh, you know, we appreciate Shout y'all. Out. Love y'all. Yeah. All right, we got a we got a dope little show for y'all today, as always. Uh, first, we got to talk about uh, the unfortunate shooting of uh, Jacob Blake. Um, you know, they shot him seven times in his back uh, as he was getting getting in his car. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you know, hey, it's a it's a hell of a touchy situation, you know. Considering, you know, I don't want to go where only because I feel like a lot of our podcasts, a lot of our episodes, you know, are surrounded by a whole lot of, you know, what's going on in the world. And it's not negativity, but it's negative of what's being done our people as a whole, you know. So, you know, I feel like, you know, the beautiful thing is that we got people standing up for us. You know, we got people in the NBA, you know, LeBron James, you know, and people are, you know, people are overall getting taught of it. As a whole, you know, we're getting taught of it and people are ready to stand up and see a change. You know, so I think it's going to take a whole. It's going to take everybody, you know, to go ahead and make it happen. Yeah, it's definitely going to take everybody to make it happen. I feel like, you know, it's crazy that we're here, you know. We keep regressing back and people keep getting more and more divided. And, you know, these shootings, they need to stop. People need to be held accountable. Everybody's sick of all the bullshit and sick of protecting people that don't need to be protected. Especially for doing wrong to somebody Everybody knows right from wrong I would think yeah. But I'm starting to You know Think people don't Know right from wrong You see what I'm saying mm-hmm. And they They just They just don't care man It's like they're doing it to To make a point And they They're getting away with it It's It's, it's messed up But uh, like you said man I don't wanna I, I don't wanna dwell on it too much You know Don't wanna bring the mood down too much man We're gonna keep it moving Uh Next We're gonna go to uh the NBA bubble. Uh yeah. you know, they they decided not to not to play a few games yeah. um behind behind that. And uh also I, I remember Joey was telling me he said uh Paul George got depressed in the NBA bubble. Yeah, he got yeah, he was I think he, he probably deals with a little bit of uh mental health issues on the regular. He seemed like that type of dude to me, right? But he came out and said that the bubble affected him in a negative way. And, you know, basically he just felt, fell into a deep depression. That's why he didn't perform in them first two games, you know. The problem with that is now, you know, you have to perform. You said you was over it. and Yeah. He hey. said he was over it and ready to bounce back, so. He put up 35. You know, I feel like he was the reason they won the other night. He was, definitely. You know, if he didn't put up in numbers, he, they definitely wouldn't have got the game. So, yeah, he got to show up since he didn't. Bounce out of depression phase, you feel? <laughs> you yeah. Gotta, you know, you know. Once you once you put it out there like that, you got to keep showing up now. Especially yeah, 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 if you're yeah. still in it, respect to that, you know, and you just can't can't get hyped in the bubble. I can understand that too, because it's not the same type of vibe, right? Yeah, it's a different feel. It's but different you already feel. said that you was you already turned the corner and and you about to show up, so we'll see. Plus, you know, I'm a Pacers fan, man. You know, I've been following Paul George since you know, them the day one. That's where he came to. That's where he got drafted to. So I wanted him to. Do the best anyway, as far as you know. Yeah, he's a monster, man. On, on the court, on the For court sure. anyway. Plus, there ain't too many people to come back from a Kevin Ware injury. No, he had the same. You know, he broke his leg just like Kevin Ware. The same, same exact injury. So yeah, that's that's tough all in itself. For sure. What y'all think about King Luca? Oh man, he's the a. Hey, I love the performance mainly because of what Montrez and you know we from Louisville. 
I ain't gonna dig into that situation, you know what I mean? Because we got too much shit going on with the Black Lives Matter shit, you know, for you know, for them comments to be made. That's how I feel about it. But, you know, after Montrez made his statement, and then he came up at very next game and game winner, yeah, it's king shit. I that's mean, ball shit. You he, he's, a, he's a monster. He shows up. He shows up. It's ball shit. He's a yeah. monster. He'll be. He'll be. A, he's a future yeah. Hall of Famer yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Montrez is full of energy, bro. Everybody knows this. He feeds off of. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's been out playing on the yeah. playground, and somebody threw a shot at you, and been like, yeah. "Man, that's not a big deal, man." It's just the times we live in. It's media hype. Like yeah. they out there throwing shots at each other. Like, whatever, bro. I don't think it was that big a deal. <laughs> yeah. I really don't. Hey, Luca, he's a beast, bro. Trez is a monster too. Yeah, yeah, he be putting up, uh, putting up the man numbers, man, for sure. Yeah, Luca's crazy. Very early in his career, you know, he's yeah, very crafty definitely, individual. Definitely, definitely, definitely playing professional ball since a young, you know, been playing with the big boys. Um, next, uh, y'all hear about the the creator of Scooby Doo dying? Eighty-seven years. 80, I really, to 87. I really didn't hear about that. You got man, you got to scoop me on that one. You got yeah, Scooby Doo. Yeah, you just gave me something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to be fucked up about Scooby Doo. Joe Ruby dies at eighty seven. I don't, I don't know what he died of. My baby Scooby girl still crazy. watches Scooby though. Yeah, we yeah. watch Scooby. That's every- classic. That's classic. That's classic. Generations on generations, bro. If it classic. wasn't for those meddling kids. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we was all yeah. the meddling kids one yeah, day. There, there, shout out, there, there. shout out, Mr. Ruby. Yeah, Rest man. in peace. Fucking up the Scooby snacks and shit, man. <laughs> all right, man. Let's get to another song real quick, man. This one is Roy <laughs> Al. It's called. Uh, uh man, what's the name of? It? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get y'all the name in the, in the comments in the, in the description. Niggas throwing signs, red and blue signs. What's the difference? Working nine to five, serving five to nine. How you living? Can't go back to trapping. Niggas pick a rapper. What's the difference? No matter how you slice it, yeah. No matter how you slice it. Niggas throwing signs, red and blue signs. What's the difference? Working nine to five, serving five to nine. How you living? Can't go back to trapping. Niggas pick a rapper. What's the difference? No matter how you slice it, yeah. No matter how you slice it. Hey, Catholic church, liquor store, Baptist church, Chinese food, what's the purpose? Now, Labor Day, we turn it down the car because my newest neighbors make me nervous. I ain't trying to brag a bit, but niggas saying my neighborhood is on the karma. Some go elevate when prices run up. Some go have to skate before the summer. Four and more solid. Pushing through the limit, I ain't trying to settle at a phone full of phones. Now my block numbers on the Baca level. Still he won the bread, I'm mad at lettuce now. Like, fuck it, I'll be fake healthy I'm shit. Fine. Used to beg for seconds, now I take from niggas. I need A help. It's trying to get a wealthy nigga word from heavy metal to heavyweight. We just talking shit, we can demonstrate. These niggas reaching for a pot of gold. But well, we gon' show you why you shit out your luck. We was taking nails, being nice guys. Now we here turning, we don't play by the books. Niggas leave the streets just to start rapping and get jammed up. Trying to save it a look. From heavy metal to heavy weight Until they take it, nigga, celebrate We going up, nigga, levitate We going up, nigga, levitate Nigga stone signs, red and blue signs What's the difference? Working nine to five, serving five to nine How you living? Can't go back to trapping Niggas pick a rapper What's the difference? No matter how you slice it, yeah Alright, we back, we back, we back You're listening to Confirm Yes, yes, yes yeah, you know the vibes, you know the vibes. You want to get on the show, confirm.pod at gmail. Send me some songs. Uh, DM me. You know, we can chop it up. Let's Send them up. songs in, man. Send them yeah. songs in. Sure, Come on, man. We're Don't sure. be shy. We know y'all got them. Yeah, Come on, man. We're going to play them. Yeah, yeah. Get on this Let's get it. Get on this platform that we try to make for y'all. Yeah. Um, yeah. Y'all see the movie uh, Project Power, Jim Cox? It, yeah, it was a banger. I seen it. Yeah. It was a banger. It was a pretty good movie, man. Like... It's a theater quality. You know, we don't get a lot of that right now, so it's a drought on, on good movies. Yo, I wonder what the budget was. The CGI was crazy. It was stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A little scene with a um, machine gun camera. At the very beginning, they set it off with that, bro. Yeah. You knew it was going to be good after that. You was, like, intrigued. Yeah, yeah. You got to set it off with a boom, right? Yeah, yeah. I, 
I would definitely need me one of them powers, though, man. Bro, yeah. you might just explode. Y'all need to watch that movie, man. That, that shit is ridiculous. Yeah, if you ain't seen it, uh, go watch it. Uh, Project Power on Netflix. Go check that out. Yeah, well, it's, it's me. Y'all heard my song, Roll Runner. That's all I do is I roll run, man. So, look, I cut the motherfucker on another night. Hey, if you took one of them, you would be... I'm terrible. That's what his power I'm, would be, bro. I'm fucked up. You know, I'm fucked up because I do... Like, hey, man, like we were just talking about, man, I do so motherfucking much, man. I cut the motherfucker on. It was too late. Man, I, hey, my energy was gone. I, I died watching that motherfucking movie. But, yeah, I need to check it out. <laughs> Definitely check it out, man. I'm not a movie watcher, man. You might catch me on, like, a Saturday morning or something. You know, well, you know my juice is flowing. You feel me? I just woke up, but man, on late what night. A bottle, what a bottle of cereal. Yeah, you feel me? You bro. feel me? Watch Next my Saturday Scooby, morning. Watch this Scooby Doo. Turn it on, bro. Yeah. Next watch Saturday. Scooby Doo. Rest in peace. To, hey, for real, for real. Rest in peace. But look, man. Yeah, man. Hey, I'm a morning movie watcher, man. I'm terrible about watching this shit at nighttime, man. Right, right, I fall asleep quick too, I bro. I fall asleep. I fall asleep on any motherfucking movie. <laughs> you hear me? Man, what y'all think about uh uh? Jamie Foxx career so far, man. Legendary. Man, you took the words right out of my mouth, man. I don't have a better word for it. It's Legendary. Not a, it's not a better word for it, man. Hall of Fame. Like, man, somebody that went from comedy, you know, I mean, to the television show. You know I mean, to, I mean, he, I mean, he didn't elevate it and he did adapted. it all. He's adapted to platinum you know, records. Come on, man. Music and everything. That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Hey, like yeah. well-rounded impersonations. I mean, the impersonations. I mean, everything. I mean, an all-out beast. I mean, he's. I mean, he's one of the most talented men yeah, in is. acting. He playing Mike Tyson, ain't he? he playing Mike yeah, Tyson. he's yeah. bulking up. I heard he's bulking yeah, up. Yeah, I'm excited yeah, yeah. about that. He might. Man, he's gonna. Man, he's a good actor, on, man. man. Back to Jamie Foxx is all around yeah. amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, no doubt. For real, for real. All right, man. Uh, we got to get into it. We wouldn't be us if we didn't get into a little something serious, try to motivate y'all, get up and do something. So yeah. today we're going to talk about uh, stand up for something, man. Stand up for something. Yeah, if you don't, you'll what fall for anything. Man. What I was wondering who was going to be the first to say that shit right there, boy. Because that's the truth. If you don't, you'll fall for anything. You hear me? Yes, man. That's a fact. If you don't, you'll fall for anything. Yes, sir. So uh, what, what, what's your take on that, man? Stand for something, man. Stand that's everything. I feel like it's part of your code, part of your DNA. What do you stand for? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean. Part of who you are, right? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. It says a lot about you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, since, you know, since it's part of who you are, I feel like it starts at home. You know, so, you know, I talk about my kids a lot because it's my heart. You know, it's my drive. It's my goal. That's what I stand for. You know, so I, you know, I instill it at home. I feel like starting at home and, you know, it starts with just a little small shit for me. Like, you know, telling your son or your daughter that, hey, I'm proud of you. You know, that builds up, that boosts their character, make, you know, make them, make them believe in family. It's making them believe, man. You know, like you got to stand for something. Man. You got to believe in something. And when you believe in something wholeheartedly, it makes you want to stand up for it. You know, so I think it all starts at home, man. You got to instill those qualities into your children. Oh, so, yeah. You know, because they'll be the next generation standing up for what we, you know, for what we believe in. So it starts at home, man. Oh, yeah. For sure. I feel like, you know. We all have good parents, right? They instilled yeah. those morals into us in a way. That's why that's what you know, that helped us become the people we are in in our trials and tribulations what we went through, but it all stemmed from what our moms and dads taught us, right? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's important for us to do that for our kids, for sure, you know what sure. I mean? Like Definitely. it it all comes around full circle. People we need yeah, talk to your kids, man. Build them up. Mm -hmm. all right, teach them right for wrong. You know, make sure they uh, ain't out here on no bullshit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Confirm. Yep. All right, man. We got a little short episode for y'all today, man. But we thank y'all for fucking with us. Always. Send you to watch the videos, like, subscribe, comment, subscribe, uh, SSD TV Network. Uh, listen to us on all your favorite podcast services. And uh, we out here, man. That's our time, man. We're going to get into one last song before we go. This one is Travail. From, I think he's from uh, Detroit. Out of Detroit. So. I like a Detroit flavor too. It's a little RB joint. We never did no RB. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna start singing to him. Niggas. My next track is one of them. Uh. On the wash Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know you've been through some things, baby. Please don't change, baby. Tell me how you feel. Tell me yeah. how you feel. I'ma hold it down for you. I'ma be the one for you, baby. This is real. Baby, yeah. this is real. I know you got some shit on your chest, baby girl. Just tell me what's the deal. Tell me what's the deal. 
it, we can work it out, baby. Do it from the start, baby. Tell me if it's real. Real, cause I say so. Cause I gotta lay low, you know what it is. Ayy. And if they ever try to ask about us, baby, tell them niggas get up on our fist. Ooh, you a witness, them I gotta get this. I'ma strip the pussy out, something like it's fitness. I got the grind, cause I wasn't born with it. Said that I ain't bout it, like, who the fuck you kidding? Got me going through the motions, trying to put it down for you. Got me going through the motions, trying to be Baby, please don't change, baby, tell me how you feel Yeah, I'ma hold it down for you, I'ma be the one for you Baby, this is real, yeah. listening to I know you got some shit on your chest, baby, girl, just tell me what's the deal Hey, we can work it out, baby, do it from the start, baby, tell me it's Thank y'all for fucking with us. <laughs> One time. Play us fuck up. Play us fuck up. Yeah, all the man. time. Well, put your up. It's all about how you bounce back, <laughs> boy. Yeah, yo, another one episode 11 in the yeah. books, man. Thank you. 11. Like yeah, I said, man. like, comment, yeah, subscribe. You know, help us grow. You know, we love y'all. We out of here. Yeah, man. Peace. Stay up. Get it. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Put your seatbelt on, nigga. Put your seatbelt on, nigga.